dear chairman, dear colleagues, I would like to uh, show the results of our work, obesity, protective or risk factor for pathologic fracture. Osteoporosis is a skeletal disorder characterized by compromised bone strength, predisposing to an increased risk of fracture. Bone strength reflects the, inter the integration of two main features, bone density and also bone quality. Osteoporosis can be defined by the presence or history of fragility fracture. The main problem is that there are no symptoms from low bone mass until fracture occurs. Vertebral fractures is the most common osteoporotic fracture. It is estimated to be 550,000 per year, but only 25 to 30 percent of vertebral fractures seen on X-ray are diagnosed. Vertebral fractures is a marker for future fracture risk. Consequences of vertebral fractures is back pain, loss of height, deformity, disability, diminished quality of life, and increased mortality. Hip fractures is the second most common osteoporotic fracture. It will be 6.3 million by 2050. Hip fracture is also a marker for future fracture risk. Most are caused by, by fall from standing high. Complications of hip fractures is 20% excess mortality in the first year of the uh, fracture, 50% uh, incapacitation, and 20% require long-term nursing home care. Increased risk of pathological fracture in the obese patients, now changing the traditional paradigm that adipose tissue has a protective role in maintaining bone density. White uh, adipose tissue is considered as well as metabolic tissue, and uh, there is a lot of adipokines and inflammatory factors that can in turn promote bone resorption. Obesity is positively associated with a lot of uh, chronic disorders, such as metabolic syndrome, dyslipidemia, diabetes type 2, and condition uh, that can themselves affect bone health also. Our objective was to determine the correlation between BMI and T-score lumbosacral spine and total hip T-score in patients with vertebral or hip fracture. The method was a retrospective cross-sectional study uh, in a two-year period. Uh, 29 patients was with hip fracture, 84 patients with vertebral fracture, and uh, DEXA were redu uh, verified reduced bone density. Data were, was obtained uh, with medical history and were statistically preceded by statistical package SPSS. Our results was the average age of patients with hip fracture was about uh, 67, mean BMI was uh, 28, and mean total hip was minus 2.6. The mean age of patients with vertebral fracture was uh, 70, uh, mean BMA uh, about 30, and mean TSLS minus 2.8. Body mass index uh, was at obesity uh, 30 and more, and uh, obesity uh, patient, number of obesity patients with fracture was uh, 15, and obesity with vertebral fracture 43. Uh, with T test, uh, we match obesity with hip fracture and normal with hip fracture, and also obesity with vertebral fracture at normal weight with vertebral fracture. That was uh, the test uh, with minus 7.7 .7 and minus 11 for normal and the test with obesity minus 15 and minus uh, 23. So, Wilson correlation coefficient revealed the weak statistically significant positive cor correlation between BMI and total hip TS for obesity patients with hip fracture. But uh, there was a negative statistically significant correlation between BMI and TSLS for obesity patients with vertebral fracture. 
So our conclusion was that obesity has a protective role for bone density in patients with hip fracture. But obesity is considered as a risk factor for vertebral bone density. Such results encourage new research in the field of osteoporosis and obesity with all its comorbidities. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.